Carlos, fans are really suffering. Uh, I think everybody concerned with Huddersfield Town is suffering. How, how can you explain what happened tonight? First of all, I need to say sorry for all of our fans because I can understand the feeling that they have. I can understand that they don't feel today. They don't feel that Huddersfield was the right thing today, and they don't. They cannot share the feeling that all we, we try to give, trying to play with our best. And today was clear that we didn't play in a good. We didn't play well. We didn't control any moment of the game. Nori was better than us in all the areas of the pitch, in the playing out, in the high press, in every moment. And that's why we concede the seven goals that could be more. And that's why today we didn't make any of our fans proud. And this is the worst feeling that you have as a coach and the worst feeling that all our players have to. Before we get on to why and how it happened, Carlos, how shocked are you at how your players performed today? I think... Uh, we are starting just the two minutes in, when you start to concede one goal very fast. Uh, we want team that they arrive to this game after two draw results that they didn't deserve. So they are going to be a little bit angry to, to arrive for that game or in the last result that they get in the last week versus Preston. So they arrive to this game with a lot of level of ambition. And as soon as the things start to work well for them, they are going to try to change this dynamic. They are half you play versus one very good team that is angry because they are not getting the result that they wanted to get in the in the previous last in the last weeks. So first of all for me we need to, to try to control the first minute because we know how important were the first minutes of the game. We were giving this message, we tried to control and manage well the first minute, but we couldn't and they were too much better than us to break the press. They were too much better than us to eliminate players and break the lines in the in our pitch. And they were better than us managing the game in all the areas of the pitch. So as soon as in 25 minutes we start to concede many goals, the game starts to be very difficult. And we arrive to the, to the rest time without any type of option in the result. What you want to do in this type of situation is try to change the image, try to make the people that is watching our, our game, the, the fans that are suffering with us a lot too. And we can understand any type of feeling that they have right now. Try to change this image because it's always important the message that you give to the people when you are in a football pitch. But today we couldn't in any of the options. And this is what I told you that I am the main responsible about what happened today in the pitch because I am the one who select the players and the one, the one who select the idea of the game. And sometimes the things work, but today it was impossible to make everything work. Could you have made more changes at half time? We could see Sober Thomas getting ready, Aaron Rowe and others. We attempted to, to make more substitutions even at the half-time break. We wanted to change the image with the players that we were creating this image in the rest time because I think it was important for the players to change a little bit the feeling that we have when we arrive to the, to the rest time. It was important to arrive with the same type of players only to make one change because it was very uncomfortable for the streamer to be defending one winger. That's why we, we changed the shape. But we wanted to finish the game for some players with a better feeling because the first one in the first half, didn't work nothing for us today. I, I repeat a question from earlier, Carlos, really. I'm, I'm interested to know your own personal reaction to how the players performed for you tonight, because in the context of the five games before, unbeaten in five matches, including against some very good opponents, this was quite a shockingly bad performance. Has it taken you by surprise as well? I think, of course, nobody, I am the first one that couldn't be expecting one result at that one because we are right here to this pitch trying to get a positive result for us, trying to continue extend the dynamic of the, of the positive more than the result of the, of to be in beating uh, during five games. That was something very important because it allowed us to, to add points to the table. And this is the main target that we have right now. So, of course, the... The performance was not the right way, the right performance today, and the result was the worst thing that we saw today, or both things, the performance of the team and the, and the result. So, like I told you, that the thing that I have to do is to analyze why this happened. And of course, when you select the ideas of the, of the team, when you select the players that are going to be involved, and when you try to mentalize the player, the main coach is the main responsible of this type of defeats. Do you fear, for your own position, do you think responsibility will be given directly to you? Uh, and maybe there could be consequences internally at the club? I think the consequences have to come directly to me. This is a doubt because I am the one that in the good moments I have to put the face in the bad moments too. Because like I told you, I decide today the players to play, I decide today the style to play. 
So everything that happened today in the game arrived from my idea. So when the ideas are not working, it's because I didn't work well today. So I have the first one that have to be facing this defeat, knowing the, the consequences that can have. But continue with the same mind that today we lost one game. And I continue with thinking in, into fighting in this battle that we have right now. Isn't there a fear in defence of you, Carlos, that the players might have arrived here at Norwich and privately thought to themselves, well, Norwich are league leaders, they'll be playing in the Premier League next season, we're going to lose, so maybe we have half an effort instead of a full effort. No, I don't think. I think the team arrived today to the game with the right determination to go for the game, but when you, in a few minutes, score, receive two or three goals, you start to be thinking that it's going to be very difficult to get something positive. And sometimes in these moments, we didn't react in the way that we have to react. It's clear. And we didn't do it in all the 90 minutes. So, of course, as a team, we didn't react well, we didn't perform well. And the more pretty thing, the more pity thing for us is all the people that is in our back supporting us made them feel this embarrassing match that we give today with one very embarrassing result. How difficult does this make your job now for the match on Saturday against Rotherham United, which is very important, and the, the vital games to come? Because, as you keep reminding us, your team isn't safe yet from the threat of relegation. How difficult is it going to be for you now? I think it's exactly the, the same. It's like we know that we are in this battle for the relegation. We know this. We know this from a long time ago because as soon as we start to, to have one very good dynamic of results, it was very clear that we started to put uh, problems to ourselves because we start to be close to the down part of the table and not with the middle part of the table like we were in the, at the beginning of the year. So I think we are awareness enough about this situation, awareness enough. And what we did today is to make one game where we didn't compete well. This is for me everything and what we need to do now is to show that we, have the, we are able to can compete the way, the next games, in the way that we have to compete the games. So, how confident are you that you can fix it on a personal level? Can you put the problems right in the short time that you've got? I think, first of all, uh, what we need to do is to don't move uh, from this situation fast because it we'll be, wouldn't be positive. If we are just to say we have a, a one game, important game, like all the games that we are going to play right now, just in three days, and try to go for this game, forgetting what happened today, is not the right thing for us. The right thing for us is to continue suffering the result like we have feel now. Because all of us, I am the first one and all the players, we feel a lot of hurt today for ourselves first and for our people too. Because for all of us, we know how responsibility we have every time we are in one football pitch. So first of all, we need to stay a little bit with this type of feeling today. And like football goes very fast, the only thing that we can have now is in three days we have one big opportunity to change the, all the image and to show that we can compete in the 100% level because this is what we didn't do today and this is the thing that we can do.